Hi, Johnny Black. Mid construction of a new train, I have spent a lot of money on building a 10 wheeler because, yes, it's expensive, but it's fast and it's got the power to do what I need. Now, I am 0.1 of a load off of building a factory, so. Oh, yes, I got a uh, prospector and upgraded the movement speed. So I can't, I can no longer do any upgrades on this, so these guys move slightly faster now. Go and uh, discover Slayton now. So I can send this train to Rosu, but I won't be bringing it back because that will build the factory. Now what I'm doing over here is I'm going to build a luxury car, which is expensive as fuck. It's not the most expensive thing, obviously. We've got the Luxury 2, which can carry the gold. Which is, uh, surprisingly not an express goods. I would have thought gold would have been of the utmost importance. As we can see now, we have a cigar factory here on uh, this old building lot. And that'll take 20 days to turn two cars of tobacco into half a car of luxury goods. That That's pretty bad, in my opinion. Now, I have 10 of these blue trade points. What I can do here is use 8 of them to upgrade the production factor, which will take it up to 1.3. Which I will do now, because I want that extra factor of uh, production. Let's take it 20 days to make a car in a bit of luxury goods, which is just what I need. And also there is Slayton. I will just run over there and explore that out there. So I have my 10-wheeler and luxury goods car and I will build a passenger 2. And together that I will steal the passenger cars off of the uh, tobacco train when I return and I think I'm going to come up here and find this tobacco plantation which is just off the edge of the map up here and make a sneak connection up there. So I have another source of tobacco coming in. Because this factory will burn through these tobacco cars quicker than you think. Especially if I take the production time up, it will burn through them quite fast. So, with the 10-wheeler nice and ready, I send this over to Rosie. And you see, this is an express train with express goods. I get the bonus of $700 for using an express train. Trying to optimize... Uh, just run the event. I get to upgrade this guy's facilities for free, so I'll just take production time down from 12 days to 9. I'll go into more depth on uh, trade routes later, because trying to optimize trade routes to have the most efficient bonuses can involve using just cheap trains, like very early game trains, to just take passengers to the tobacco plantation or to the sheep farm, depending on uh, what you're wanting to do. Let's go back over there. Get rid of that. Get the luxury car. These. This may be an overload on the train, but I'm not sure. Because this is powerful, but I don't know if it can pull all of this. Nope, it can. And then I can turn this into a continuous trade route. Now I'll be getting bonuses. This will be taking luxury goods and people between our two cities. That's the 10 wheeler. Pretty powerful little train for uh, halfway down the tech tree. And of course, now that just leaves us with a freight train with two cold cars. Now, the simple solution to this is use the freight train for something else and buy another express train, something small, like maybe. Something is slow, so it doesn't get too ahead of itself, like maybe the American or the Mogul. That one's not too bad. Perhaps the Decapod, but that might be a bit too fast. 
Oh, and the ten-wheeler got a bonus point for being the first train to deliver something, so I think I'll make it more powerful. Just so I can put longer, like, more carriages on this. Although I don't think uh, that will have made enough luxury goods in time, so I will be upgrading this again, because 20 days to make a car in a bit is not quite enough. Random thingy. Need all the money I can get right now. I would like to get over to Slayton, though. Whenever I could be cheeky and go around this water. I probably could, actually. I have absolutely no need to make a bridge around this bit of water. I mean, over this bit of water, it'd cost a lot, it'd be more direct, but, I mean, I have absolutely no valid reason to build a bridge here. So if I just quickly explore this chunk out around the bottom here, I should be able to lay a track around there eventually. I obviously need to get the money to build the bridge over there. I just take these to tobacco plantation, drop those off, and then send this to Brain. Brainfield. I'll lose a bit of money, but the cold cars will be at the tobacco plantation. Then over here, I'm gonna get ready to start getting uh, wool. Now I think wool is uh, a, like the picture suggests, a neither good. So it's just a a product. It's not express, it's not freight, it's neither. Now I would like to use the, uh, oh, yep, these guys needing uh, maintenance now. I would like to use the uh, geared for a freight run, but at the moment I don't have a run that requires freight. Like a freight only run, so... My solution to this problem is, for now, use it to run wool from the sheep farm to Brainfield. And then later on I will... Yep, upgrade for the 10 wheel, and then later on I will use... I believe there's a lumber mill somewhere around here I could use it for. 10 wheel has another bonus point, let's make it power, for, power up a bit more. <coughs> Pardon me. How about making this bridge? <coughs> Excuse me again. Start building that bridge. So for the next uh, few minutes, it'll just be repetitive. Ten wheeler taking half train loads of luxury goods to and from Brainfield and Roseview, and I'll be just waiting for my money to go up so I can finish building this bit of railroad down here. Apparently, uh, this bit of track is now levitating. But that's okay. I will cut back in a few minutes. So I'll do a quick mention on uh, upgrades. As you can see, my 10 wheelers icon is now light blue because I got the research upgrade, and I chose higher inspector. But he only maintains the locomotive. See, it's not alerting me that the rest of the train is broken. But when this upgrade that I've just purchased at the uh, research district comes through, I can stick that on higher inspector again, and the gear goes dark blue, and that means that the game will now maintain the train whenever it needs maintaining. And if you just notice, I got a uh, mogul with uh, a little passenger car. I'm going to use this as my tobacco train now. It's all express, so uh, 
I should gain us some money. I'm going to go and explore over here and find this tobacco plantation. So I've got two sources of income to feed this. Anyway. Okay, join me back after I've made quite a bit of progress. I have been explored this, prospected it, and I've built a train line to it. I have a mogul here with the two cold cars. Unfortunately, I didn't have the power to pull a passenger to as well, so I'm waiting until he gets a horsepower upgrade before going to get that. Ran over. And of course, something was stolen. Uh, I can't remember if I, this was here last time, but I now have sheep farm connected. I've been using the gear to run some text, some. Uh, using him to run some wool up to here, so I have a full thingy of wool and textiles. And I've also been over discovered Slayton and I decided to go with a bridge in the end. And I've connected along the other. What I'm gonna have to do though is I'm gonna have to get rid of this because this dude here on the station may cause me some problems. I'm gonna buy the dude to do that real quick and bring him all the way over here. So tobacco plantation one. You then load up with tobacco, come to here, then you go to tobacco plantation two. You can't do that yet because it doesn't have anything in it. Hurry up. Taking your production time down and everything. What does this place want? This one wants wool and wood. So this will have a textile plant and a lumber mill. I don't think I have anyone that needs timber. I can't remember where timber needs to go because my opponent has the rest of the map. He has these two uh, cities up here. Yeah, that was the... Uh Dude being an ass and breaking my train. It, it's in the station game. You can stop complaining. So now I have to watch this train progress incredibly slowly out of the station so we can have a maintenance check here instead of having it here because I set it on auto run to go all the way over there in the back. Great. Anyway, hopefully that doesn't explode. Bring the trapper dude to come over and deal with that. Uh, where's my actual troop? There they are. What I'm doing now with this one is I'm going to upgrade this to have the special members. And I'm going to get a geologist and a cartographer. Because what they do is the cartographer will allow me to explore a wider area of fog. And the geolish, ge geologist is the guy who can prospect the gold vein on this map. I'm going to assume my opponent may have already got the gold vein by now because I've been taking my sweet time with this. So my assumption is my opponent already has the gold vein. You can get rid of that. You're nearly at the station, you slow-ass train. It's not your fault, you're broken. It was mine for not getting that dealt with sooner. Do you have two cars of tobacco? Yes, you do. I can now set this on an auto trade run between tobacco plantation one, loading up with tobacco, going back here, going to tobacco plantation two, loading it with tobacco, and then coming back here, and then auto trade, go. Because I kind of need the tobacco here to make the uh, luxury goods, which I have upgraded a few times to produce faster and have the full factor of production. The engine on locomotive gear has broken down. I know, but where is it? Has it been destroyed? No, it's still here. No, I do not want you to use my cartographer to explore a region of the map. It's totally worthless. When all you do... Yes, make that cheaper. When all you do is just run around the map like this. And it explores huge areas of map. 
Whereas if you use the uh, explore the region ability, it just explores a big chunk of map and then he disappears from existence. Set this guy up on a lumber run. Should have actually got rid of the passenger car. Yeah, should have got rid of the passenger car. I'll ditch that in Slayton. That way I can get the trade the uh, trade bonuses from the lumber mill. I can hear trains from where my opponent is, so uh, he's definitely doing something. Normally the AI are kind of derpy and they sometimes don't actually do anything. You'll just discover them one day and they'll have absolutely nothing and then the second you connect the track they'll ambush you with like really slow trains. Discover the sheep farm, it would probably have been beneficial going for that one instead of going all the way down here, but hey, it's on the way to uh, Slayton, so I'm not complaining. Where's uh, the mole? There it is. How are you doing? You've got point 0.9, you definitely need uh, production time decrease. has a bonus point and of course it's already got some bonus points because over here I upgraded this to have tractor power and operating costs. So trains I built from there will be slightly uh, more powerful and uh, cheaper to run. Which means I can now probably hook up the passenger 2 to the mogul and make some more money on uh, both ro both ways to trade run. Instead of just making money when I bring tobacco back I'll make a bit of money taking the passengers to the uh, or workers to the plant. I have just looked at my money and I, uh, I have quite a bit now, so I can get uh, to spending it on something useful, hopefully. Got this guy bringing wood to and from, so I need to find somewhere where that actually needs wood. I mean, I'm going to have timber. I'm assuming, I think it was one of these that wanted timber. So I'll have to trade war with my opponent for timber, and then there'll be a furniture. It'll build a furniture plant, and then I think this place has a demand for furniture. Yes, it does. Uh, has a demand for furniture here. Do any of you have a demand? But doesn't have a marketplace. Do you have a demand for furniture? Yes, you do. I suppose making a mixed goods train between Slayton and Rochester. Rochester. Probably a horrible mispronunciation on my half right there. Ah yes, and I can definitely pull those three cars with the mogul now. Got these guys going around the edge of the map, just discovering everything. Can I have a look at doing some more research? That is a really big freight train. Um. I don't think I'll be pulling actually that much freight. I mean, the only reason I would get a jewel driver cab if I was if I upgraded the lumberyard to have more than three uh, freight slots. So if it had like, I don't know, if I upgraded the uh, production uh, output warehouse capacity by two as well as production time, and I had five cars of wood to move somewhere more than just six feet. That would be something I might do uh, a dual driver cab for, but um, I don't actually see many opportunities to do that. I mean, I've played a few of the other missions. Nope, don't explore the region. Where it may be a val valid option, but other than that, the speed and power of the dual driver cab is just not necessary. The only other. Uh, trains I can foresee I may need is uh, I might get a mountain at some point for a longer trade route. The Santa Fe is one of my personal favorite trains in the game but uh, it's a mixed freight train so I don't think I'll be using that for much but hey I've got stuff to research so let's go ahead and research some new things. Anyway while uh, not much is going on I'll just cut to another interesting part. I'll be back right in a minute.